St. John's may not be a part of this year's NCAA tournament, but it doesn't take away from the freshman season that Mo Harkless had. Harkless, the Big East Rookie of the Year, announcing on this date that he is leaving St. John's and declaring for the NBA Draft. He joined us here in studio earlier tonight along with the head coach, Steve Lavin at St. John's, and I asked Mo about his decision. It was a really tough decision, you know, with all the factors coming into play, staying, playing with my brothers on the team, and also not being able to play under Coach Lavin for a full year. And, you know, it was really hard, but ultimately, my coaches and my family, we, we, we came to a conclusion. I, I would imagine you've had some, some scouts in the NBA tell you you're going to be a relatively high pick. I've heard anywhere from 13 to the mid-20s, and, you know, that, that definitely played a, a role in my decision because it's a great opportunity and it's really hard to turn something like that down. The key is really Mo making an informed decision. You know, he wants to take that step, uh, but having been in this business 25 years, you want to make sure that he's getting the right information because it's a decision that affects the rest of his life and you want to make a choice uh, that you're going to be comfortable with and confident in that decision and clearly uh, he's ready for that step. What was your headline from this opening week of the of the NCAA tournament, especially when it when it comes to the Big East? Well, I think big picture when you look at the whole field this year in the NCAA tournament, North Carolina State, uh, the resurgence of the Wolfpack under Mark Godfrey, uh, that's been a surprise. The fact they could actually make a run to the Final Four, when you look at their personnel, their quickness, and the fact they're playing with great confidence at the right time of the year. Uh, no big surprise in terms of the Big East. Uh, Syracuse, uh, the team that can make the deepest run as expected, even without Fab Mello, I think people are getting an appreciation for their talent level, the firepower, and of course a Hall of Fame coach in Jim Bayon. I'll leave you guys on this. How much, Steve, are you going to miss this guy next year? Well, the good thing is we've developed a friendship, uh, so you know we'll be in touch uh, for as long as we're on this planet. Uh, and I'll be following uh, his progress because I know he has a bright future, and he cares about St. John's as an institution. Uh, he loves his, his teammates, and he's close with the coaching staff, and uh, he's close to my wife, Mary, as well. So uh, he's someone that will be uh, near and dear to our heart, and whichever franchise has the opportunity to draft Mo uh, is going to be in great position because he's a special talent and, more importantly, a great person uh, off the floor. His values, the way he was raised, uh, represents well. He's thoughtful. He's engaging. Uh, he's good-looking. He's articulate. Very handsome man. He is. So he's all GQ, Gary. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Very down. He'll be making a run at our jobs down the line. I would imagine so. It is the head coach at St. John, Steve Lavin, Mo Harkless, on his way to the NBA. All the best, Mo. Thank you. Good to see you, Steve. Good to see you.